Welcome to our today's interview about Panama. I'm Dimitri Bohanov, director of Synergies, a business consulting company specialized on internationalization services for our customers. Today we will be talking about Panama. Panama is mainly known through the Panama Canal, wonderful diverse nature, or in the business world, but it offers much more than that. And about the opportunities in Panama, we are talking today with Mr. Emilio Gonero de Nasa. On the personal level, Emilio looks back to more than two decades of legal expertise in immigration law, real estate, corporate, and commercial law, just to mention a few of the areas. Dear Emilio, thank you very much for being with us today. So, Emilio, uh, Panama and business. Uh, how easy is it to establish a company in Panama? Panama corporations, they are currently regulated by a law that is almost 100 years old, similar to those of the Delaware jurisdiction. We can set up a company remotely. You could be the sole shareholder or owner of the company. However, you will need three directors. In terms of, of the process of incorporating a company, this is something that can be accomplished in a matter of days. Once we have collected all the required documents, international businesses are ideal for this kind of company. And you could also use it for local purposes in Panama, such as a holding entity or as an asset owner, of let's say, real estate or an investment account. Are there eventually any restrictions in use of condominium companies? Locally, there are restrictions when it comes to retail business practiced only by Panamanian citizens. However, if you want to use this company for retail purposes abroad, you can perfectly do so as long as you comply with the legislation where you are performing your commercial activity. Is it possible to open a bank account for your own uh, company in Panama? The Panamanian banking sector is heavily regulated. The bank will want to know what will be the main source of funds in this account and what will be the main purpose of this account. They want to understand a profile and also some financial projection or estimate for the first year. Could easily take maybe four to six weeks to be done, but it does require a certain level of expertise. Ideally, it would be recommended also to visit Panama for the opening of bank account, even if it is a business bank account, right? That is correct. And we will always advise clients to consider that a personal visit will help to set up this business account. Um, Emilio, now coming to the topic of uh, living in Panama. Panama changed the law about the immigration under the friendly nation visa rules. How complex is the immigration possibility nowadays? There are three paths to obtaining residency, investing in real estate. The minimum amount required will be $200,000. The other one will be investing in a certified deposit in a bank account in Panama. There's a third path, and that is a proven an employment relationship with a Panamanian company. This does not require any particular amount to be invested, but it will require some basic proof of employment. Which, to be honest, Dimitri, for several clients, we have already structured some sort of self-employment where the client basically incorporates a company where they prove they have an employment relationship with said company and this would allow them to apply for this residency. You must first apply for a two-year residency permit. Before the second year ends, we have to refresh certain documents and file a second residency application. However, this time, the applicant will get a permanent status. The question, how PGS can assist the customers, help to customers who look to immigrate to Panama or to open a company there, how do you assist the customers? PGS have been providing services for clients for over 16 years already. The letters PGS stands for Panama Global Solutions. To get a client or an applicant that is looking at Panama either as an investment destination or simply to relocate with the family from A to Z. Thanks again, Emilio. And uh, next topic, uh, which I would like to mention during our current interview, it's asset protection. Very well. Panama is one of the best laws around foundations, I must admit. Uh, this is due to the fact that uh, actually the law is relatively young compared to uh, other countries uh, with the foundation laws. And when working on it, the Panamanian government took the best they could find in similar laws in Luxembourg and Liechtenstein. For whom could it make sense to have a foundation in Panama? 
sitting at the foundation will be for those that want to either protect personal assets or just as a holding entity for other businesses. To give you some sort of ideas of the purposes that most of our clients have used these kind of instruments, they have used it to hold real estate bank accounts, investment accounts, stock or shares for other companies. Something else to consider is that being a trust-like entity, it also provides, let's say, a private inheritance process that will help you to organize your assets and your legal heirs without following any particular uh, rules. Can it be done completely remotely? And what about anonymity when creating a Panama Foundation? The founder must sign the setup document. Ideally, the founder should be in Panama to sign these documents. However, even this can be handled remotely. As to anonymity, yes, actually, the law in Panama allows for a company to be or act as the founder and foundation council. I would uh, ask maybe just one last question. So, uh, to the recent event in Panama, what could be expected after these recent elections? Of course, Dimitri, as you will mention, we have a new elected president. He is a corporate and maritime lawyer. He has provided through acceptance speeches. It looks like he wants to run a pro-business government looking to attract uh, international investment to bring Panama back to a place where we have a better reputation and not just by handouts from the government. Great. So let's hope that Panama will become even more attractive than it is uh, at the moment. And thank you very much, Emilio, uh, for a very informative and valuable interview. And I'd like, I'd like to stress to the viewers that for further information and consultation about Panama, do not hesitate to contact PG Ansas in We will be glad to assist you. Thank you, Dimitri, for the opportunity to share with your audience uh, this input. Thank you very much. Thank you.